I love how Jesus touched him because we know that Jesus didn't have to do that. Jesus had the ability to heal people, and elsewhere he did just by the power of his word. But he decided to do something that would communicate more than syllables could. He didn't just want to show this man that he had the power to heal. He wanted to teach him a lesson about what God is like. And I want everybody in here who is struggling with shame right now to hear the word of the Lord. I want you to hear this in Argentina. I want you to hear this in Rock Hill. I want you to hear this right now in, in Tennessee and Alabama and Idaho. I want you to hear this right now, sitting watching this all by yourself, and you've been isolated, and there's something inside of you that makes you feel like there's something wrong with you. See, in the Old Testament, if the priest touched something that was unclean, it made the the priest dirty. That's why he couldn't touch it. But Jesus was not just any priest. I wish I had an organ like it was Sunday morning. Jesus was not just any priest. This is not a human priest. This is the Lamb of God. This is a great high priest. He is not defiled. He is not ashamed. He knew no sin. So watch this. When you touch Jesus, the unclean doesn't make the clean unclean. The clean makes the unclean clean. Y'all act like y'all want to praise God on hour 71 of UVEX 2020. Come on and let him touch you. I have a word for somebody today who has been carrying shame and has had you in a lonely place. A lonely place. Oh, yeah, you still text people, but it's not really you texting. It's a representative of you that's trying to figure out what to say that's going to create the image that you think they won't reject. And the places that you go when you're lonely often make you even more lonely. It's a lonely place outside the camp. It's a lonely place when the spot isn't on your skin. But the spot is in your soul, and you think, if anybody knew that part about me, they, they wouldn't love me. But they didn't make you. They didn't make you. They didn't die for you. And let me promise you something. They got their own spot, too. So for all of you who feel like, I'm not one of these good people. I'm not one of these good Christian kids. I'm not, one of the, I'm not one of the church kids. I'm not one of these. Notice how Jesus did not resist the man when he got at a distance that he wasn't supposed to be, he said, watch this. You ready? This is what I came for. This is what I came for. I didn't come here to win a popularity contest. I came to touch people and use people and raise people and heal people that nobody else would touch. 